Hello friends. Welcome to Arun's Anesthesia Academy. This channel is about anesthesia continuing education. Here we have come up with our first video, which is about the personal protective equipment. Before we go on, please do not forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. The goal of this video is to improve personnel safety in the healthcare environment, through the appropriate use of personal protective equipment. Here onward personal protective equipment will be mentioned as PPE. This basically includes specialized clothing or equipment worn by an employee for protection against infectious materials. This is as defined by Occupational Safety and Health Administration. So mask, goggles, gown etc. are PPE, and when all of them come together, it becomes the PPE kit. Here are the components of the PPE kit. A pair of shoe cover, head caps, pair of gloves, gown, goggles and a respiratory mask. Now to the steps of putting on a PPE, also called as donning, and how we remove the PPE, also called duffing. Stepwise if we look at donning, it includes following steps in sequence. Step 1 Performing Hand Hygiene Step 2 Putting on Head Caps Step 3 Putting on Shoe Covers Step 4 Repeat Hand Hygiene Step 5 Wearing the first pair of gloves Next is wearing the gown Step 7 Wearing the respiratory mask Followed by putting on the goggles And finally the second pair of gloves Sorry, that was quick and brief about the donning steps we know it is difficult to grab the idea from that session. So we go on with a detailed explanation. Step 1 is Hand Hygiene. WHO, World Health Organization and CDC, Center for Disease Control and Prevention, advice for strict hand hygiene as the cornerstone of prevention of infection transmission. IT should be done before donning PPE. During the process of donning, in between during patient care, before doffing, and after doffing. Hand hygiene is performed in between during patient care and before doffing if your hand is visibly contaminated. WHO and CDC recommends hand washing with soap and water solution. And if your hand is not visibly contaminated, an alcohol-based hand rub can be used as an alternative. Hand hygiene is performed in seven steps. After washing hand with water, soap is taken and the following steps are performed. All the steps are performed five times. Step 1 Rub your palms together. Step 2 Rub both your hands while interlocking the fingers. Step 3 Rub the back of each hand. This is done five times for each hand. Step 4 Rub the back of your fingers in a locking manner. Step 5 Rub your thumbs in rotation. Step 6 Rub the tip of your fingers. And the last step is rub the ends of your wrist. After these steps, hand is washed in water. If using an alcohol-based hand rub, by the end of steps, the alcohol solution would have dried off. Step 2. Donning the head caps. After a proper hand hygiene, we proceed with the head caps. Care taken while wearing head cap is that it should cover the forehead. And use of a second cap to avoid hair hanging from the sides, especially for females. And this will help cover the ears as well. Which is useful when gown in the kit does not have a hood. Step 3. Donning the shoe cover. Type of shoe cover supplied depends on the kit. It can be either covering up to the knee level, or it can be the ones covering only the shoe part, with the first type being the best. Personnel can sit comfortably and wear the shoe covers. Step 4. Don the first pair of glove. Before we proceed with gloving, we have to repeat hand hygiene, as the last step we performed was putting on the shoe covers. Carefully take the first glove by holding at the inner side and put it on. 
Now the second glove is taken by holding at the outer side. This is done using the gloved first hand. It is important to extend the glove up to forearm level for better protection. For individuals who are allergic to latex gloves, an alternative like nitrile gloves should be available. Step 5. Don the gown. Gown is also called as coverall. It is advisable to use a non-reusable, water-resistant, long-sleeve gown. If impermeable gown is not available, place waterproof apron over the gown. It can be back closure or front closure type. Back closure gown needs assistance from another healthcare professional. In the front open gown, there is a zip in front and a tie in the back, both of which can be tied by the personnel himself. First slide legs in and then the arms. It is preferable to stand on a green sheet to avoid damaging the gown. After this, close the zip. The position of zip is very important to avoid accidental unzipping afterwards. After the zip, not the back tie. Step 6. Wear the mask. The respirator should protect from inhalation of droplets and particles. It is advised to use FFP2 or 3 class respirator for better protection. Elastic straps of the mask is adjusted such that upper strap comes over the occiput region and the lower strap over the back of the neck. It is important to fit the nose metal clip for a good seal. Lower strap can be put crossover as shown in the video. This should be followed by the fit test. A forceful expiration into the mask should show the visible outward movement of the mask and the inward movement with inspiration. Step 7. Wearing the goggles. Goggles or instead a face shield is used to protect the face and eyes from infectious contaminants. Face shield is a better protector with full face coverage. Care taken while putting on goggles include, first, to avoid touching the front of goggles while holding it. Second, goggles are worn over the mask straps. Third, goggles are worn to fit snug, not tight. The side straps on the goggles can be used to adjust the fit. Once the goggles are worn, we have to put on the hood. It should be out on in such a way that it covers the head properly. Not all gowns come with a hood. Step 8. Donning the second glove. This last step is performed the same way as how the glove was put initially. As we have put on mask and goggles earlier, hand needs to be sterilized using an alcohol-based hand rub. Follow the 7 step of hand hygiene. Extra care taken here is to make sure that the gloves are worn up to the level of forearm, and above the sleeves of the gown. That completes the donning process. Now we can proceed towards the steps of doffing. Doffing is the steps by which we remove the PPE. It is not the exact reverse as donning, because doffing is done by first removing the most possibly contaminated equipment. Brief and quick view into steps of doffing is as follows. Step 1 Unzip and loosen the gown tie. Step 2 Remove the outer or the top glove. Step 3 Remove the hood. Step 4 Remove the gown. Step 5 Remove the shoe covers. Step 6 Remove the goggles. Step 7 Remove the respiratory mask. Step 8 Remove the head caps. Step 9 Remove the innermost glove and perform hand hygiene. Now we will see each step in detail. After the patient has been examined, the removal, doffing of the PPE is a critical and important step that needs to be carefully carried out in order to avoid self-contamination, because the PPE could by now be contaminated. Step 1. Unzip and untie the gown. This is done with the gloved hands. Wearing two gloves during donning gives extra protection. Before unzipping hand hygiene may be performed if the hands are visibly contaminated. If needed this is done using an alcohol-based solution. Step 2. Remove the outer glove. This is done in 8 steps. Start by pinching and holding the glove with the other gloved hand, between the palm and wrist area, peeling the glove away from the wrist, until it turns inside out covering the fingers. With the now half-gloved hand, 
Pinch and hold the fully gloved hand between the palm and wrist. Peel the glove away from the wrist until it turns inside out and covers the fingers. Now that both hands are half gloved, remove the glove from one hand completely by grabbing the inside part of the glove and peeling it away from the hand, while always grabbing the inside part of the glove. Step 3. Remove the hood. This is done by carefully touching the inner side of the hood, with care to avoid touching the face. Slowly take off the hood and roll it or fold it inside out. Step 4. Removing the gown. Carefully take out the sleeves and pull the hands inside. Now with the help of hands, slowly pull the gown downwards. Once it has reached the waist level, hands can be taken out by everting the sleeves. Now push the gown down and roll it inside out. And finally take it off the legs. Step 5. Removing the shoe cover. It is removed by pinching the outer side and taking off the shoes. This step can be performed by sitting comfortably. Step 6. Removing the goggles. Hold at the sides of the goggle or at the straps and slowly pull it off the face. Before performing this step, hand hygiene is done as the last step was removal of shoe cover. Step 7. Removing the mask. Once the goggles are removed, next is to take off the mask. Hold at the straps of the mask and take over the head to remove the mask. Care is taken to avoid touching the front of the mask. Step 8. Remove the head caps. This step is as simple as it feels. Pinch on top of the cap and just pull it backwards to take off the caps. Step 9. Remove the second or inner gloves. The steps are same as mentioned earlier. Pinching at the palm wrist level to get half removed gloves and carefully removing fully by pinching on the inner side. This should be followed by hand hygiene with soap and water. That completes the steps of doffing, and we have come to the end of tutorial. Hope the video was informative. Please press the like button if you feel, and do not forget to comment, subscribe and share. Keep waiting till our next tutorial.